Hello and welcome. This is the Crypto Day Morning for that of Wednesday, the 5th of September 2018. My name is Derek and let's talk about the Bitcoin price. Like always, all bets and trades and of the like, always within one's own risk, own reward. For myself, risk reward management is job number one. And in situations like this, with everything going down, Bitcoin falling from 7,400 down to about a little over 69 or a differential of close to 500 points or well greater than 400 as a decline of much greater than 5%, even closer to 7%. And a lot of the other coins facing even larger losses against the dollar, meaning a lot of coins falling against Bitcoin, which means for me, a lot of buy orders have come into play. So in the three hour, after several times, which the 18 average of lows and the pierce below was good support, it has crushed through that level. And uh, now we take a look at this on a shorter term time frame, 15 minute chart. It happened pretty much all at once. So we can see here at uh, 5.45 a.m. Eastern time, it fell from the 73.70 handle. And within the period, it goes down to 70.88. Over the next uh, less than one hour or three periods within the next period itself, it rallied up to 7171. So there's a differential of about 1.3, 1.4% from the low to the high. And then it did it again at 6.45 a.m. Eastern time. So on the daily chart, that's pretty much how it was as this was the market just moving around at uh, 5.30 and then just consistent down moves as from about, what time is this? 5.51 concluding, it was about a six minute ordeal. And then we can see again over about a five minute ordeal, it falls again and since that point it has just basically uh, went to the sideways range, 7,030 is an area it has hit twice and uh, we're going through uh, one of those declines within the daily time frame we're going to see uh, support at the 18 average of lows right now or close to it so it's in the correctionary phase for it broke out above the 18 highs on the 24th of august has used this area on a couple of occasions as that of support within the 18 highs and its price has got it down below to this point. The 18 is still rising. And right now it's in at about uh, 6,900 uh, almost. 6,800 and change, 6,850. So if you see weakness amongst that, then that could mean uh, some pretty bad in, uh, possibilities. But we're in that pot, a situation within, we'll see how this corrects. Looking at this long term really doesn't affect too much for me. On the three day time frame, it barely pierced above the 18 highs as it is. So it's just hanging in there still amongst such. So it was barely above the highs, but not enough to say it's a clear break. And now it's below the 18 highs, but not enough to say it's a clear break below it. When you look at things on the weekly term time frame, the price action is still playing around with the 18 highs. So it's not really doing too much itself. And then the monthly chart, which uh, has been a level of support, is still messing around, playing around within the 18 average itself. It's been uh, now the seventh month, this being September, in which it has been in this correctionary phase. 18 of lows is still rising, although the 18 of highs is declining. 94.79 now, last month it was 95.36, but it's pretty much banned as flattened out on the long-term time frame. When we had the last correctionary phase, it was extremely long. For the market topped November, December of 2013, and it never got above the 18 average of highs until November 2015. So it was close to two years of a very long correctionary phase the last time Bitcoin went through it. There's no big rule. Oh, it's got to be this amount or it has to be this long. It can't be this short or it can't be that. No. So 
the fact that it's been an okay correction, still working its way through time. From where we go from here, this could be the bottom. They're known after the fact, but it is a statement move to say the least. And uh, for me, with all these markets, because a lot of them have been going lower in price, and this is cloak on the single hour time frame, a lot of them going down. So for me, I've been getting a lot of buy orders. I woke up and I seen the price was in at uh, around 7,000 and I knew, okay, I'm going to get filled with buy orders. And, and I did as I've filled buy orders for probably about 12 different altcoins, maybe eight to 12. Anyway, thank you for tuning in and have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.